Hey, what's up guys? Aaron here from Clever Programmer again. And today we are going to be going over the idea of mutability in Python and programming in general. Mutability just means, or another way of saying it is mutable versus immutable, okay? These are some weird words, but let me explain. Let's get started. Mutability, let me just type that out. Muta, you probably already saw it in the thumbnail and everything and the title title of the video but yeah so mutability oh, what does that even mean what this means is actually it should have been mutatability so muta just stands for mutate mutate means like you're changing something so mutability it actually means mutatability um, or basically changeability okay so a mutable thing is a something that's mutatable and an immutable thing is something that isn't mutatable, which means you can't change it. So this is inchangeable and this is changeable, basically. They should have called it changeable and inchangeable instead of mutable and immutable, which actually should have been mutatable and immutatable. But I don't know who came up with it. It's just kind of silly. It, it always confuses me, but that's what they mean, okay? What this means is there are different kinds of data types in programming. In Python, you are, you are familiar with the ones in Python, I'm sure, but some are mutable and some are immutable. So I think we went over in a previous video about lists and tuples, right? So lists is a good example of a mutable data type because they can get longer, they can be empty, you can add things to them, you can subtract things from them, you can change the value of the elements inside, right? You can you can go like this, right? That's a, a list, you can append things to it. So I could append four to this and then I could just print this out and then you'll actually see that it is a um, list of all four things. You guys get the idea. So a, a list can change because you can add things to it, you can subtract things from it and whatnot. However, a tuple is immutable, right? Because remember I said that you it's a stable, it's a consistent, stable, structured kind of uh, data type or data, it's actually a data structure, but I'm just gonna call it a data type because you can't add anything to it. If you, if you, uh, you can't add anything to it, you can't delete anything from it and you can't actually delete, you can't actually change these elements. So you can't make it longer, you can't make it shorter and you can't change what these things are. Whatever it is when you create it, it stays like that. This tuple will stay like this one, two, three, forever, okay? That's the difference between mutability and immutability. It's kind of like in real life, like think about it, like if you have a rock that is uh, immutable, it doesn't really change. I mean, you could like smash it, but in general, a rock is very hard and hard to change. So it's immutable. It's this one thing that never changes. It's what it is from the beginning all the way to the end. But something that is mutable might be something like a keychain because you can take keys off, you can put keys on it, you can add things to it, you can change the keys, and it can grow and change. You can mutate, okay? So that's the where the idea comes from. Um, so yeah, there's actually a lot of different kind of um, mutable data types and immuta immutable data types. I think all the mutatable, you can you can um, Google it, all the ones that, all the different types if you actually want to find them all. Um, Im immutable types, things you cannot change would be things like tuples, okay? Uh, tuples, um, ints, okay. You can never change it. You can only overwrite the entire thing. But oh yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, an immutable object like a tuple, you can still overwrite the entire thing. It's essentially deleting it. Um, but whatever that structure is, that data itself, that very when it is an immutable data type, you cannot change it. Same with ints. Every time you overwrite an int, you're actually deleting it and replacing it with a new int. You're not actually changing the int directly because you can't do that. Um, same with floats and booleans. I'm just gonna put all these together. Floats and booleans and um, strings, I think. I think so. I think every time you change a string, it's actually creating a completely new string uh, data type. I'm like, not, not quite sure about that, but uh, these are just some examples. These are immu immutable data types. Um, mutable data types would be things like lists because you can change them, okay? Would be dictionaries, all right? Um, order dictionaries. Right, I mentioned that. That's another data type that we had in the dictionaries video. I didn't go into it. Um, and many, many more. Most things are mutable. Um, less things are immutable, like only a few things are immutable. Uh, but basically these allow for more um, secure data, I suppose. And mutable things are for more flexible data. So that's the distinction there. Uh, one thing I do wanna mention is that in dictionaries, when you have a dictionary, right? Dict like this, and you have um, a, uh, one, okay, and B, two, okay. The key has to be an immutable thing. 
That's why I, I know strings are immutable, okay? Because I know that this has to be immutable and this can be anything the heck you want. It can be anything you want. The value can be whatever you want, but the keys in the dictionary have to all be immutable. So this could actually be a tuple, okay? You could actually have a tuple here and you could say like, okay, on a screen, right? You have a bunch of, uh, you have X and Y positions on a screen and then you have a brightness. So maybe if you wanted a, you could have a dictionary that corresponds to um, be like, okay, at point one, two, at pixel one comma two. So you go over one pixel and up two pixels. So the pixel like over there would have a brightness of one or turn it on or something like that. Uh, so you can act, like that. That's just one example that came to mind right now. But yeah, so you actually need an immutable, immutable data type as the key in a dictionary because if you don't, then um, the key changes and then it's not consistent anymore. This needs to be immutable because that's how you index into the dictionary. The same way um, when you index into a list, you have to use an integer, which is also immutable. Um, that, that's just one thing I wanted to point out um, with dictionaries. This has to be immutable, okay? Uh, one last thing I want to go over is immutable immutable data types are a little bit uh, finicky. Uh, you're probably falling up to this point. This part gets a little bit complex, but I'm going to give it a shot explaining anyways. So let's say you had a tuple, okay? One, two, three. Okay? Um, you understand that this is an Im immutable data type because I can't add anything to it, I can't subtract anything from it, and I can't change any of these individual things. That's because this whole thing is actually stored as a chunk in memory. All right? Well, what if we actually had a list here, okay? All right? Um, so we have a, well, that's a little bit, oh, uh, no, no, uh, this should be fine. So we have a tuple here, which has two immutable things, two immutable things, and then one mutable thing in its third place. All right, well, let's first try to change um, something. So I'm trying to change the first thing of this immutable data type, this tuple. You run it, you're gonna get an error. See, tuple object does not support item assignment, which means you cannot assign any of these items to something new. T, we're trying to change this one to the same thing one, but it can't actually change this, okay? Same thing if I put two. Um, I mean, oops, if I put uh, one here, it wouldn't change the two here. And if I put T at two here, which get this list, I still can't change it because I cannot assign this one to overwrite this list. However, okay, T at two, is a list. You see this here? It's a list, one, two, three, t at two. So we're just gonna say, okay, L equals t at two. Get rid of that error there. Actually, no, um, I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna put it in one line. So t at two is the list. So if we have, if this whole thing is a list, remember how we index into a list? You can actually put more brackets after it, okay? And then if I put in zero, we're gonna get one. Okay, if I put in one, you're gonna get two. And if I put in two, you're gonna get this three because what whatever's in here is indexing into this list because this whole thing is this whole list, all right? Now, I am going to uh, show you something interesting. So let's put, uh, let's just print T here so we can see the tuple. Uh, comment this out real quick and then print, run this to see what happens. So it prints out the tuple there, okay, with the list, with the one, two, and the list in the third one. And now what I'm actually going to do is uh, ob obviously we couldn't, we couldn't actually change um, the entire list. We got an error before, but could we change something within this list? I mean, this it's, if it's within this list, it's also within this tuple, right? So you said we can't change anything in this tuple, but a list is mutable. A list is not immutable. So we can still change the things in here. Okay. Um, are you following now? So we could actually say, okay, um, T at two is a list and then at zero is this one. We can actually change this to let's say seven. All right, and hit run. No error, right? No error. And then let's print T again and see what prints out. Oops, see what prints out, okay? As you can see, seven was put where one is. All right, but this whole tuple is mutable, but this list is mu is mutable. So we were able to actually change this, okay? A, a distinction there. If this was a tuple, we wouldn't have been able to do that, okay? If this was actually like this, instead, we wouldn't, this code will actually break and I'll show it to you. See, what happened? Print T. Oh, I forgot to print this piece here. Run this and we'll get the correct error. 
Well, we were getting the incorrect error before. This is the error I wanted to pop up. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that before. We got the incorrect error. <laughs> Um, but as you can see, yeah, you can't change it. But if this is a mutable data type instead of an immutable data type, you actually can change it. So what I'm trying to get here is that immutable, immutable data types, um, they are only immutable at their level, okay, at their global level. If you go within and then there's something that is mutable, you can still change those. And that's because in Python, um, this might go over a lot of you guys' heads, but I'm going to explain this because you might understand, is because everything in Python is an object. So this um, tuple is considered a... A object and it's given all this data It's given this one It's given this two and it's given um, the location of this list in memory okay so this list in memory can change to whatever the heck it wants but the location of this list will always stay the same it's just the list changes itself the values within the list change or it gets longer but the the location of this list which is just the first element where the first element is located um, always stays the same so we can change this list but on um, this tuple you can actually replace this list with location okay um, this isn't actually what you code but just imagine the idea here that this is actually the location of whatever is here so the location of one and two is also here this is also stored as locations um it's called a pointer if you know like c or c plus plus but um the location of the list does not change okay but the value of this list can change okay so that's the little distinction there it's a weird little edge case same deal if you had once again a list within here you could change it but if this was a tuple you could not change it okay this is getting weird weird and nested so i'll go back to uh, this simple case we had but that's pretty much it um about mutability and immutability you guys um i just wanted to explain that because it's a distinction in python um the most important use of it i know is using tuples for stuff for structured data and then knowing that a dictionary key has to be immutable okay it cannot be mutable because the keys have to stay consistent in dictionary or the name of the thing is going to get all screwed up and it's going to freak out and the world's going to explode and then uh transformers are going to start um <laughs> coming alive and whatnot but um that's pretty much it for uh, mutability you guys thank you for watching i'm sorry if i got a little complex there at the end i get kind of nerdy and geeky and i like to geek out and explain all the little nitty-gritty stuff sometimes i know this is a beginning beginner's tutorial but hey <laughs> might as well push you right that's how that's that's what happened to me when i was learning so thanks for watching you guys um hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you next time good bye Going on, hey, man, how's that?